So we recently had a Minecraft server called Zealcraft up and we kind of made it private but if you want to create your own Minecraft server it's actually pretty easy. All you really need is something like MCMI admin and it makes it extremely easy. All you do is just kind of start up a program and it'll all work pretty well and easily. And as you can see here on my screen here I have mcmyadmin.com open up and that's basically where you can get it. It's free. But on their editions page, you can see that there is a professional and enterprise version. It's pretty cheap if you want professional. That basically, the main major difference is that you get unlimited player support. This only has eight players max on personal, but it's free. So you can try it out and maybe upgrade later. So click on the download link, and it'll automatically download the file. You can click on it. It'll open up. And the next thing you want to do is create a new folder anywhere on your computer. I'm going to call it MC, and then you select everything here, drag and drop, and it'll copy all the files over there. And then you open up the folder, and you should see something MC My Admin. It'll have that little icon there, and it's not the folder, but it's the one with the icon. You just double click on that, and it'll open up a little terminal window like this, and it'll say it's downloading a Minecraft server. And then it should automatically open up your web browser and go to localhost on port 8080. If that doesn't work, maybe try another web browser or something like that. But click continue to start the wizard. And then you can say, what's the server name? I'm just going to call it test. And then it, it, it can be public. Then you can survival. I should make it creative. And yeah, players can fight each other. And yeah, I want animals. And then you can start from a template or start server. The templates are right here and for example I'm going to do the arches template and you can see it's starting up it's not accepting players yet but it's preparing you can see here this is like the server terminal so you can see what's going on there and it looks like it's ready oh no it had to reboot first so yep it's ready the server is running and accepting players meaning you can connect so you have to open up minecraft I'm going to open up right here and when it opens up, you should be able to connect to your new server. So log into Minecraft, the multiplayer, and you want to add a server or just direct connect. And the IP address is localhost. And localhost is basically your local machine. You can connect to it and do everything. And I'll tell you a bit more about um, port forwarding and how to do it on a separate computer and that kind of stuff in a future video. This is just about how to get a server up and running, so you know the basics, and you can kind of play around with this. So join server, it's logging in, and I'm in. It's it's I'm in underwater. It looks like. But it's creative, so I can fly out. Oh no, I didn't fly out. But I'll have to see the server. You have to open up the server thing and then you can type stuff into the terminal so op that makes, basically makes me an admin so I can what I can do now is do something like creative and that gives me creative mode so I can fly and if I want it to be night I can do or slash day Yeah, some, sometimes they don't work, but something like that depends. You might have some plugins that have disrupted or things like that. But you can see here, you can fly around. And this is basically the Minecraft server. And you can close that. This is right here is the admin panel. That's in your web browser. And you can see it's running and how many players are on, how much memory it's using, how much CPU it's using. So you can see like a log here, you can do the same sort of op username and that kind of stuff and then this is where you can add users to run groups so and they, they have a different commands like they can do everything there and that's what a moderator can do what a regular can do what everyone can do and everyone is in the group everyone so that's just how it works it's the default group there's a schedule so you can do different things at different times backups so you can back up the world and then the preferences again if you want to delete the you, you can even get bucket and then the about page you can update Minecraft, update install bucket, update MCMI admin, and enter the license key if you end up buying MCMI admin, which is probably a good option if you want to actually have a public server, but if it's just private, you have some friends on every once in a while. 
eight players is probably fine. Yeah, it does show the it's MC My Admin free every thirty minutes or so, but it's not a big deal. More video tutorials to come on this topic of Minecraft and Minecraft servers, so just stay tuned. And I'm also kinda of working on a blog, zealstudios.net slash gaming, which is gonna be kind of like a sub blog to zealstudios.net, my main blog. And it will basically tie these sort of gaming tutorials, gaming topics that go along with my YouTube channel and my cousin's YouTube channel. He's youtube.com slash cut, cut slash Isaiah Thorne. Then I have my main channel, youtube.com slash cousin DZL. And then again, zealstudios.net. More to come. So subscribe to this, and that's about it.